We're here now to take the soil mesofaunal samples for analysis. Now the mesofauna are a very important um, soil fauna as well. These are um, animals that are anywhere from uh, a few hundred micrometers to a centimeter in size. So they are still visible to the naked eye but you really need a microscope in order to identify them um, by morphology again. Um, there's an amazing diversity of these soil fauna again in the soil. And when we take our samples, um, we've seen that on average in a meter square of the stem site, we see um, 300,000 mite species in a square meter and something like 44,000 calembolan species. So the mesofauna are things like um, calembola, mites, enchytrades, um, poropods, which we don't really know that much about, their role in the soil food web. Um, we also have things like tardigrades, which are what we call water bears. Um, because they, they look like a little bear under the water. Um, we also have uh, copepods here in these uh, coastal forests, which were originally thought to be only aquatic crustaceans. So there's a great diversity and it still remains a great enigma as to um, why we have such a diversity of organisms. So we're trying to work out not only what's there, but what their role is in the food web. So I'm going to show you how we take our samples for the soil mesofauna. And in this case, we take um, soil cores. So I'm just going to take a core of soil. And again, it's the, the whole of the LFH horizon and um, including the top uh, three centimeters of mineral soil. And we take this core and we see we're just into the mineral and we then bag this sample up and we want this core to remain intact because we're going to use a funnel extraction method to get the um, soil mesofauna out um, for analysis. So again, I'm going to take off the mineral layer that we have there. So as I said, 95% um, of the, the fauna are found in this forest floor layer. And that will be put, that's put in a label bag. And again, we'll be putting this into the um, cooler to remain chilled until we get back to the lab and can do an extraction. 